Oh, the, no, the mic's on. All right, we're good to go. Let's see. No. It's there we go. Basically going through the Ivory Sanctum. Last we ended, there was a little read of how the cultists have been screwing over pretty much everything the Crusaders have been doing. <laughs> All right. Pretty much explored this side of Yeah, I explored everything on this in this way. So I guess now we'll go further down this route. No, not even there. We'll go further towards the center of this whole map. So, down in here, this is the center chamber. Hmm. Found another locked chest. I finished here. Is there right. more? Oh, it's, a, it's just a quarter staff. What is this? Quarter staff of the war mage. This could be good. Hmm. Here we are. What does this do? This plus three quarter staff adds a plus two to the DC for all saving throws against spells from the from from the wilder cast. That doesn't sound like it's worded, right? DC for all saving throws against spells, the w the wielder cast. It also grants a plus four bonus to caster level checks made to overcome spell resistance and a plus five bonus competence bonus to use magic device skill checks. Overall, not bad. All right. So who should I give this to? Ninio or Ember? It's really just those two. Well, Ninio's just running around with a master work heavy crossbow, so I'll give it to her. Just the now, before I screw up, I don't want her to run into melee, so I'm going to have her like, if she's not ca if she's not casting a spell, she will automatically just take the action to cast Divine Zap. It's just a 1d3 cantrip. Wait, could I? I could have her cast a spell instead. But you know she'd go through she'd burn through those spells pretty quick if I did that. Let's see. Ah. 
and find that. Let's see. If she could cast Burning Arc. Yeah. Controlled Fireball. Fire Snake. Chain Lightning. And she kind of cast that four times a day. So, uh, yeah. Let's save with this Warme uh, staff in hand and move on. Everybody. No one stands in my way. Mount the Triceratops. Alright, now we're ready. Okay, huh. Follower of Jerabeth. <clears throat> Hear that noise? The Crusaders are already here. Let's go fend them off, or else this is the end of the Ivory Sanctum. Not so fast. The end of the Ivory Sanctum came a long time ago. Who are we going to defend it for? For Xanthar Vang and his idiot, idiot mages? For the defective demons they're breeding in the chambers that used to be ours? Fat chance. You're actually talking sense. Listen up. I know a safe place nearby. Let's hole up there, and when the Crusaders swat the Locust Lord, we'll come back here and put everything back the way it was before. <laughs> Lady Jerabeth will take care of us. Disciple of Xanfir. What are you all standing around for? Didn't you hear? We're under attack. The enemy's already here. Hurry up and get ready to mount a defense. Intimidate 30. Hey you, I don't have time to deal with every minion. If you want to live, get out of my way. Diplomacy 35. You Templars are nothing more than meat for Descari. Raise your hand if you want to fight for the great Zephyr Vang. Or, not to the Templars. Jerebeth says, do it. <laughs> or just attack. Filthy demon worshippers. Time to die. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the not to, not to the Templars. Jerebeth says, do it. Finally, now you're all going to pay. Betrayal? The esteemed Xanfer of the Plagued One will feed you to the locust for this. We're gonna have you cast this on you. Cast magic missile. Oh shit, there's a minotaur here. Labyrinth minotaur. Oh shit. Man, eh? See, they all just had scrolls on them, except for the Labyrinth Minotaur. Had a plus one Earthbreaker. None of the followers of Jared Beth are willing to talk. Let's see, more religion on this epitaph here. It went splendidly. This legend tells how the cunning Baphomet deceived Asmodeus, the Prince of Hell. The statue of Baphomet towers formidably above his unholy symbol, a minotaur head. 
Streaks of dried sacrificial blood can be seen at the base of the statue. Yeah. Glad I was useful to you. Well, any fight that's won is a fight I don't have to repeat. Save. More religion. This experiment has gone awry. Okay, how did you fail this? My best religion check is a plus six. Whoa. Jesus. Probably more than that. Yeah, so did I. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else around here. Uh, no, I don't think I'll... I might level up after this. Yeah, yeah, I'm like... I'm pretty close to a level up. I need... 6,000 more X... Oh, actually, under that. A little under 6,000 XP before I hit my next level up. Um... Yeah, just pick the lock. I finished here. Is there more? Hopefully. Shadow of Demon's Votary. Hmm? Oh. Disciple of Xanfer. Teacher, it's the Crusaders. They're already here. The commander himself is with them. Don't be such a coward. These pathetic knuckle-draggers are powerless before the might of the great Xanfer the Plagued One. Xanfer Vang. The figure in the robe turns toward the cultist, who automatically takes a step back, bringing a hand to his mouth. There is no human face beneath the gray hood, just a swarm of shifting locusts. Did I not say that I would what I would do to the next halfwit who dared to call me by that ignorant by that ignominious moniker? Ignominious? Hold on. Like, I'm pretty sure I know what the word means. I, I have no idea what the fucking pronunciation is. So, give me a moment. Ignominious. Deserving or causing public disgrace or shame. Okay. By that ignominious moniker. Xanfir shakes one of his sleeves. A swarm of locusts emerges from within it and envelops the cultist's head. Shrieking, he tries to get them off, but they have already burrowed their way inside, turning his face into one gaping wound. The unlucky cultist continues screaming desperately for a few seconds, and then his body explodes into pieces as the locusts burst out from within. You, come here. We still have time to complete the transformation. He beckons a demon over, and it scrambles eagerly toward the threatening-looking machines. 
Xanfer turns to his surviving students. And all of you, do as I've taught you. Try just this once to follow my instructions to the letter. And if anyone drops another Nahendrian crystal, he will only have himself to blame for his horrific fate. He thinks to stop us with this. A load of midges. I'll walk through that swarm and not even feel a, feel the bites. In the caves, we have underground hornets that will kill the average Nefer after three stings. I survive seven. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Knowledge Arcana on the Locust. Mobility. Or mobility. <laughs> okay. So, Knowledge Arcana, break the Locust magic. I have. Ninia's got a plus 23, so I need a 4 or higher for that. Disperse the Cloud of Locust with your weapon. Mobility 25. But I got a 19, so I need. Again, a six or higher for that. How are you going to do this? Or mobility 23. Try to get through the cloud of locusts. Yeah. That sounds like a bad idea. Hmm? Greetings. See how adorable Windowog is? She would make a good paint. Plus, she has soft fur. Hold on. I see skin, not fur. Like, she has hair under her hood, but I don't see fur. All right, moving on. Break through, break the locust magic. Maybe I can get a four. Maybe. Here's hoping. Okay, what I get? I get an eighteen. Oh wow. Okay. You quickly realize that the wall of locust is not magic in itself, and you cannot break it as you would a spell. Yeah, son of a bitch. Okay. Try to... Alright, disperse the cloud of locusts with, the, with my weapon. Need a six or higher. Come on. Here's hoping. Hey! I get 13. Alright. With deft movements, you scatter the buzzing insects into the air, creating a gap in the wall that you can pass through into the chamber. The demon summoned to the machine howls in pain, paying no attention to you. Hmm? So what did I miss so far? Oh, um, I traveled through the majority of the map. I did a few companion quests, um, Socio, Ember, Windowogs. No, I think you were here for Windowogs. Um, Camellias, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Bloody but man. yeah, I, I think that's about it. Oh, and I found out what happened to the Jerabeth's uh, one village chief pet. Turned him into a plant thing. Alright, let's see. Moving on. He's alive. Alright, let's see. Sanfair Vang places crystals in the demon's body, and you sense rather than see the demon change into something different. Something more frightening than before. Hmm. You look closer, and you realize that you have seen this type of crystal before. The magic chisel you found in Canabras is made of the same from the same material. Hmm? Still disappointed with Camellia, I see. I'm telling you, Windowog is faithful. Windowog seems like she'll go for anybody. <laughs> you know, as long as you as long as you can bench a certain amount, then you know you can probably get with her. 
She has standards. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's just that I, I'm not. I'm still not into spider legs. Let's see. Zanfir Vang looks at his students who are only just starting to carry out the procedures on their own demons. Cease your rummaging, dolts. Consider your lesson ended. You're working too slowly. Unchain these beasts and defend the chamber. Fight until the last. Let's see, transform the Basu and Vrock. What is this? Coloxus? The hell is this? What is his head? Too bad that could have been your power. And a locust swarm. Oh, well. Oh, Shadow Demon Votary. I think the Colossus is the main one. It's a problem. Let's see. We'll cast. That. And. This spell. Phantasmal Putrefication. Good question. I got load. I have no means of reviving. Or maybe I do. Probably shouldn't have written that off so quick. Still, I don't really want to fight with Sila dead. At the start of the goddamn fight. <laughs> sure you do. At least it wasn't no choking stuff. Just a rug pretending to be a powder. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Let's try this again. Sneak attack plus mm. two. Mm. A success worthy of praise. Oh, wow, I got it. These legends tell of the love affairs of Baphomet who ravished not only mortals and demons, but also the goddess Lamash to herself. Ugh. Let's move do, 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 do we really need that? The game had to, the game had to put some info like that in. Demon became a god. Let's see. And might as well go, might as well throw in the Greek mythos of telling us who shacked who in the, in the pantheons. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at the. I mean, Felicia doesn't even brag about her things or his things. Technically. All right, do I have any scrolls that raise the dead? Scroll of Sunbeam, Bane, and Flea, Heal Mass, Cleanse. Well, I should probably cast that. Death Wolf. What will happen to that? Hmm? Death Wolf. 
You can't say, right? Probably not. Yeah. I'll only give it to anyone but you. Um, let's see. Molten Orb. Blade Barrier. Pillar of Life. Oh, wait. No, you're right. I think Ember does have Death Ward. She can cast on Sila. Maybe it'll work. Hey. Yeah, no, I don't. Th yeah, I don't have any form of resurrection spell right now. Yeah, you don't have your girlfriend. Wait, did I give it to Ivu? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. So I got one. All right. Let's see here. Death Ward. What are you doing without raised dead scrolls? The best I can, that's what I'm doing. Alright. I'm losing my temper. The best you can is not enough. <laughs> All right, look. Yeah, I have the money for it now. Guess I was just in a rush to get through this. You're a low con fighter, remember? And with that low constitution, I get to 50 HP faster. And then my sh and then the chain shirt of reflection uh, actually becomes more useful. So my low my low constitution build is working out. It was actually a stroke of genius. <laughs> trust in yourself. I'm always open to ideas. See, Ember tells me to trust in myself, so they can take that. Mm. She doesn't stare people in the wrong way. She's a kid. That's not an answer. <laughs> That's not a retort. Oh, she should be just looking up to you, not the other way around. I have no retort. <laughs> right. uh, let's see. What can we do here? I guess I'm going to have her use Holt Monster. No, Chain Lightning. Maybe chain lightning is the way way to go. All right. All this waiting bores me. Then I'm gonna use instrument of freedom on Windwog. Oh, hey, Nearl, you're back. Let's see. Does that shirt work for you? Cause for me, it's just another bugged item. I. Honestly, haven't had a chance to notice it yet, because normally I'm killing shit before it has a chance to hit me, or they kill one of my other party members and I load the game. <laughs> like, I'd have to take this into, like, a really specified scenario. Let's see. Unlock. I've embarrassed myself. Well, unembarrass yourself. How are you messing up a 30% a 70% chance of success? What is math? Oh my god. She can't try again. Are you shitting me? Oh my god, I have to load. I was stopped by a goddamn door. <laughs> the lock is jammed. Oh my god. How do you fail twice on a 70% chance of success? <sighs> those, like, goddamn those odds. 
never tell me the odds. <laughs> Apparently. Hey, 75%. Failure. After Not all success. that buffing, you have to load. Yup. Okay. We're gonna get the, we're gonna do one we're gonna do something and get it out the way right now. St scroll of cleanse. Give it to you. Imagine having a game over by a locked door. That's essentially what happened. I don't know how I'm supposed to get through the rest of this area without going through this door here. Cause it didn't show me any other hidden entrance. Oh, maybe here. But like, god damn it. Alright, um... Essentially, yes. I need you to cast this on... Oh no, cleanse only works on yourself. It's a personal item, so unless... So, Sela could cast... Oh my god! Why are these scrolls so bad? All right, well, what else do I have? Lesser restoration. Okay, that should be that should do it. What else we got here? Each person. All right, so we'll take the two lesser restorations. One for Sela, one cast on Sela, one on Lewis. Scrolls aren't bad, you're just unlucky. Yes. Fair enough. Yes. These are dragons. Alright, there. That's one problem solved. So Sela's not attacking Gimp. Yes. Yes. I'm still attacking at a deficit, but not as much as one as before. I had a I had a twenty two in strength. Now I'm attacking with an eighteen. All right, that's just, that's just grand. That's fantastic. Okay. With that out the way, let's see. Is there anything I'm missing? Hmm? Maybe if you had Bull Rush, you'd be more lucky. Bulls aren't lucky. Wait, are they? No, how can they be? Um, freaking Baphomet. Well, I think the bulls test the bulls, they believe so. And who believes that again? I know that's a real superstition, but like... Yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah, the very things I created is a sport to stand with my you know, So, who invented bullfighting again? Spaniards. Spaniards? So, Spain. Okay. That's right. That's right. This war must end. Just tidbits, just tidbits, a history of the real world. Got it. Um, ooh, F not, not. Death Ward. Let's get this buffing out the way again. A well prepared player had a cleric in his group, or an oracle at least, so it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> You're right. No, so I should kick out Ninio and make room for like Dayron. I'm always open to ideas. Good. Here's an idea. Cast a buff. You keep telling him to make a war priest custom character. Mm -hmm. eh. If I do another playthrough on my character, I would. Cause we literally ran into like several items that go that focus on powering up specifically a war priest and his fervor ability. Displacement on you, on you. One stands in my way. Cast instrument of freedom on you. And on you. Are we ready to move out? Just about. Just got one more haste to cast. 
And we're good to go. War Priest only gets access to level 6 spells. You got to keep that in mind. Oh. That's not the end of the world, though. Worst case scenario, for, as far as I'd be concerned, would be like, because abundant casting's a thing. Here. Yeah, Is so. Half casters usually have plenty going on so that they can do plenty without it. Besides, they get more, they get higher level spells than, they get, but, wait, it's like, like Inquisitors, right? Still better than, like, Paladins. They only get access to, what, 4th or 5th level spells? Right. Well, since I already read all this, let's go through this again. Except this time we'll get, we'll get the skill checks right. Get the fight done right. Let's see. Knowledge Arcana. Passed it. Disperse the cloud with the weapon. Passed it. Just just getting all the success. Now for the part of the match that matters. The actual fighting. Just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Everybody fight and kill Coloxus. Ember cast Arc. Nah, I'm not casting that. I need somebody that can cast protection magic first before I do stuff like that. <laughs> Let's see. Paladin only have low level spells, true. But they are unique and actually pretty powerful. Oh no, I'm not arguing that they're, they're, they're like weak or powerful. I know they're powerful. I just went and ca count on them for, you know, magic casting. I count on them for... No, no, not that. Divine Smite. And buff. And buffs are actually pretty weak. Whoa! We got destroyed. The hell? So all our casters are gone. Sela got killed again. So much for the ward. Wish they added anti paladins. <laughs> Well, I know Ivu has the ability to resurrect now, so. There's that. But, goddamn. So the only one left standing is Lewis. And Linduog in the background there, but she doesn't. Yeah! yeah. Okay. I'm here with you, Master! God damn it. I am still getting destroyed. Yep, there it is. I don't think I can win this. Okay. 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 Why don't you use flower? Hell Knights are anti-paladin, sort of. In a way, yes, but not really. Yeah, they're too neutral. In order for you to... Like, the easiest way for someone to be an anti-paladin is just that key ability of smite good. If you had a if you had any class in the game that could do that, that would pretty much be it. Summon. Yeah, assassin. Assassins can't smite good, can they? Oh, use more summons. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's move already. All right. I already did all the buffing. So yeah, let's. Follow that advice and summon and make some summons. The Mavonic Deva lasts for a minute. Uh, this one, how long does this one last? 
since I'm... What level am I? I'm level 11. So the Tanker to Free Spirit will summon... One... One Liland Azada, two Advanced Berlani Azadas, and a Gale Azada. How long does this last? I'm not see How long do these summons last? It says once per day. They're under the haste spell effect on summon. I'm not seeing it. Oh. Well, whatever. See, use this in a few minutes. All right, better than nothing. Let's do it. Open the door. I finished here. Is there more? We're, we're skipping through all the dialogue. Skip, skip. All right. Just hoping these summons get through it okay. Xanfer or Veneer just, Vang just disappears. He just fucking blinks out of existence. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll actually use the summon ability and summon another Movonic Deva right over there. Ember cast Scorching Ray on I don't know. The, all these things kind of kick our ass. Cast Phantasmal Killer on not the Locust Swarm on the Colossus. We got decimated by a chain lightning spell. What the fuck? Never died that fast before. So I'm going to turn on the turn-based combat just so I can follow just how I got my ass kicked so handily. Well, game over, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. Turn that on. Battle the weights. Summon these. Summon this right now. And while he's doing that, we're gonna. Oh no! no. Summon that right now, and then you go. To, go to open this door. Oh no! Please forgive me. Well, and the defeat by door. Of all the ways to reload, I never expect that one. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Okay. Uh, hey, hey. Doors, a lot of doors do matter. Look at this. A um, crusade of all things. Yeah, the crusade <laughs> has been ended by a single locked door. Yes! It's like it's over. It's over, everyone. Go home. There was a locked door. <laughs> no demon lord can challenge me, for I have a locked door. I'm prepared. Yep. 
<laughs> are you kidding me? What are you getting? Three. Four. Damn. She needs okay, she it's a third it's a thirty-nine DC. So she needs a seven. Oh fuck. She just needs to roll a seven. Fucking hell. Me too, but Jesus. Turn base mode's on. Let's go. So you can target the most powerful. Well no, I'm turning on turn based combat right now so I can see just how they've been kicking my ass, cause like it's almost instant game over. It's been an instant game over several times now. So now we're gonna. Now I got turn based mode on so we can see just what exactly is happening for this loss to happen. They target Sierra. They're targeting. No, they've been killing everybody too quickly. Yeah. Arlo wants to be useful to you sexually yeah. too. No, she doesn't. She's literally. She literally says that she's not after that. And then the sucky bitch. Or like she's fighting the nature of that. Then you. It's like. And when do you it's like someone being. What? What's the term? Okay. Gonna destroy that wall. Oh, hold on. What is this? Initiative started. Behold, okay. Jackson the Mighty! Three. So, Colossus used Invisibility and Bubonic Plague ability. So, it's just an immediate fortitude save on everyone. Does a D4 con damage. So, this is how they were killing everybody instantly. Get flustered so easily. Shut up. <laughs> just because it's true doesn't mean you gotta make fun of me for it. Right, Colossus is invisible. So who should I target first? Well, the the one throwing the bubonic plague, I guess. And arrows repent. Let nothing pierce. I do bite. It was Ivo's turn. Well, whatever. Here's hoping. Alright, several bites. And then broadcast mirror image. Alright. Well, Windowog actually hit this thing, so... What's its armor class? 23. Which, thankfully, in this game is actually pretty easy to meet that. Whose turn is it? It's Ember's turn. Right, let's see if Scorching Ray can hit it. Alright, he's dead. Alright. It's all in the timing, people. He had spell resistance. But, thankfully he only has a... He had a touch AC of 16. So that was easy enough to get around. Now to double check to see if I have any spells that are a swift action. Nope. Alright, just have... Can I have you move? Nope, too much. Too many enemies in the way. Alright, um... In turn. Here we go. Ninio, you're up. There's Disciples, Transform, Basu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her cast the Phantasmal Putrefication again. It summons a Shadow Demon, which will run up and do nothing. Good job. Good job, Shadow Demon. That one job. 
to transform the bosses, casting some destructive spells. The cultist shoots and misses. Instead of anything else, this time I'm going to have Stila just use channeled positive energy. That's it. No, no not even that. Self-heal. Lay on hands. And then that's her turn. Because I'm tired of her just dying. <laughs> Another mirror image. Locust Swarm just moves up. And apparently does friendly fire. Is it it's Aru's turn? Ooh, just like the army. Alright, here we go. Um of anyone to target, I'd say the transform the boss is obviously the bigger threat. So shoot him. Actually, landing hits. Four shots. Five shots. Oh, the Azadas are now summoning Holy Aura. The hell? Dispel magic. Hmm. I would do it for that mirror. Apparently it didn't go, didn't work. Right. Now it's Lewis' turn. Right. Um. I'm apparently I'm prone, so stand up. I guess I can attack either the archer, Zanfir, then go after the Nabasu, because again, that, that's spell casting. Right. Scorching Ray. Ember, what do you do? I would cast Chain Lightning, but demons tend to have some kind of resistance against... Lightning. Well, yeah. Fire, lightning. That's it. So, we'll cast... Thankfully, she's got the Mythic Path thing that avoids fire resistance, so I can cast a fire spell unabated, so... All oh, right, the Shadow Demon's right there. Uh, I don't want to destroy my own summon. So we'll just do another Scorching Ray. At the Transform Nabasu. She can't get to it. Okay. Then, can you shoot the Locust one? Nope, not very well. Yeah, because it has evasion ability. Well, the shadow demons got it, though. And then it's Ninia's turn. Um, let's see. Cast a magic missile on the look of Swarm. It didn't. Why didn't it do anything? No, no. Come on, it's a goddamn swarm. I hate the fact that this thing's so damn far. The it has immunity to magic missile. That's Woo! that I did not see coming. Yeah, just to make sure. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the disciple of Zamfir had plague swarm. I should have killed that thing next. 
the Shadow Demon cast Phantasmal Killer on the Cultist, so. Alright. Sure. Let's see. We got some damage on Ninio and Arushale. So I'm going to have Sila once again channel Divinity. And then Smite Evil on. I don't, I don't know. This thing. That's it for her. Okay. Thankfully, combat's lasting a lot longer this time around. I guess killing that Deoxys thing was, or that Croxus creature was pretty much the way to go. Activate point blank shot on Ember. It has no downside and she gets a minus four every time she tries to shoot someone engaged in melee without it. Oh. Oh, all right, I will. When Should I do that with Faru as well? Shoot the disciple. Shit. Damn. It's got concealment. Plague swarm. Run up and just swing at this guy. Alright, cool. One down. Then Windwalk's turn. Uh, swarms down. That is wrong, precise shot takes care of the minus four penalty in melee. Oh. They'll beg me to stop. You, you, want, you want to shoot something? Oh, she can't. Run this way. Can you shoot something now? She can't shoot. Why can you not shoot anything? Nauseated. The only action such a character can take is a single move action per turn. How long is she nauseated for? No clue. The Shadow Demon is immune to all the Vrock's attacks. <laughs> and then the Shadow Demon starts wailing on the transform the boss. <laughs> Man, that I'm a shadow. That that shadow <laughs> demon is doing some work. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I'm the most common being right, in every people pray. I have I have Ninia's turn again. I now know that the the locust swarm is immune to magic missile. Ew. So I gotta figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Ninia move away from the locust swarm. Burn them! And then Burn cast... The yeah, I don't want to risk that. There's several reasons. Cast no. Phantasmal Killer on the Vrock. Oh, it worked! Holy shit, it worked! Right, hold on. Let me go back to... go Combat dialogue. Scroll up. Let's see, Ninio, did you want? Did you just one shot one of our problems away? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see, Phantasmal Killer overcame the resistance, failed the will save, failed the fort save. Rock dies. Yup. Yep. God damn. Should just make a whole build focused on like Phantasmal Killer spell. All right. Marushale took out another. 
the I that. A gnome would be the best one to do it. Shadow Demon. So we got... That's dead. There's a cultist archer on the floor. There's the locust swarm over there. Ah, the shadow demon's trying to kill it, so Desna, we'll, guide my hand. we'll keep shooting at the Nabasu. I believe it, the flash was fantastic. All right, spellcasting Nabasu is gone. You are right. It only gives a plus one to hit. Confused that it seems. Thanks for correcting. Yep. All right. All right, so I'm going to take five swings on the cultist archer that's lying on the ground right there. Never mind, I'm going to take one swing and kill the cultist <laughs> on the ground right there. <laughs> so much for five attacks. Let's see. The only thing left is the shadow demon and the locust swarm. We'll go after the locust swarm. Lindorok, shoot it. Stealing damage. Good. Good job. Alright. Um, we're sure fire works on locusts, right? Alright, then Ember, use Scorching Ray. Yep, alright, they're gone. That's the Locust Swarm out. The only thing left is this one lone shadow demon. As you said, you activate the point blank shot to make sure. Because the rays would still get the point blank shot bonus, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Meanwhile, this guy is running around. I could use another... A magic missile, but I think the mirror image protects against magic missiles, so I'll use Phantasmal Killer. As that killed the Vrock. Here it goes. Ah, he only took some psychic damage. Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon doesn't do anything. Alright, um. The Inheritor, guide my blade. It's a fireball! It killed itself with the fireball! <laughs> Wild how combat can change in turn based. Yup! When, when in doubt, just go turn into turn based combat. The game is apparently originally made for that, so. You know, just turn on turn base. Mirror image does not protect against magic missile. It just gives a 20% chance to miss even on magic missile. Oh. I, I know that Phantasmal Killer doesn't care though, because it killed the rock and it didn't even have a single mirror image used up. All right, but we're done. Everybody took some damage, heavy beatings all around, but we we survived. And then more important, we saved shortly after that to make sure we don't have to do this crap again. What do we got? Disciple of Zanfir, a chipped key from the Ivory Sanctum. We got bloodstained coated note from the Shadow Demon. Ooh. Couple full, a full plate armor, chainmail, just just minor stuff. All right, what is this guy? A crumpled, blood-soaked sheet of paper on, on which it is just possible to make out the words "Chamber Lord." Below there were four symbols, but only the first two can be can still be seen: a six-pointed star and a triangle. It should be fine. All right. Why are there chests appearing on my screen? I do not know. Like, like on mine or on yours? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You mean these? 
this chest right here with uh, an identified helm headband of inspired wisdom plus four. And what is this? Xanth Xanther Vang on the nature of demons. The grubby thumbed fruit pages are covered in cramped writing. Twitch loot boxes. Wait, how come you you guys are getting loot boxes on my channel and I don't get nothing? The hell? No, there was a chest pop up. It gave me five points. I want f five points of what? I want five points. <laughs> I don't even know what it's for. Or is that because, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I think it might be some kind of, did I install something? No. And an award, no. I think there's, like, extension things you can get, put on your channel for, like, people who stay long or something. It's but I don't. It's an reward for it. Yeah, but, like, on coming back. I don't know what for or for what. Mm. Well, if, if it's if it's part of the Twitch uh, site, then you should be fine. And you mean the channel points that don't exist? Yeah, like like those games where the, the you you yeah, earned you you points. earned ten points in this game where points don't matter. Congratulations! <laughs> like they're worthless. <laughs> like you get you get another twenty points and you get a free nothing burger. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what the hell. If I did do a point system, I'd be playing like a um, a multiplayer game where I could say if somebody got enough points, I would gift you a high-end item or something. But I'm not playing an MMO, so I don't know what i do, how I could even award a point system. Any thoughts, ideas, people? Like, I don't know how that works. All right, here we go. The grubby thumb through pages are covered in cramped writing. The narrow margins, the scraps of parchment stuffed between the pages, and even the spaces between the lines are t of text are crammed with annotations scrawled in pencil. Supp supposition that demons are by their very nature superior to mortals has acquired such lasting popularity that many now consider the matter of using primitive creatures of the material plane entirely settled. Note below the paragraph, genius. We may call to mind the fact that mortal souls are one of the elements which, in their totality, brought demons into being. Receptacles for souls are thus of not insignificant interest. Note in the margin, Xanther the Plagued One is questioning the foundational tenets of demonology. By conducting a basic experiment on the live transfusions of essence of sin and the creation of strengthening charms, we can observe the transformation of material into a, sat a saturated mucus typical of... The text here has been underlined several times. Among the smudged pencil marks that obscure the text almost entirely, one annotation is visible. Must try this <laughs> in caps. <laughs> well, in this game, you could take a mercenary that is named by a viewer, for example. Oh, that is a good idea. Oh, wow. That... Damn. You can do that. All right, <laughs> that's an idea. I'll do like a um, we could make like a playthrough where we're running through the uh, run through the main game, but choose a diff, but you know, choose a different build and such, and then it's just a full unique party with just view with just the viewer staff and or yeah, the viewers and such. It's a good idea. Thanks, Neo. We'll do that like once a week. <laughs> Not Saturday. I got, I got called into work on Saturday because everybody's calling off, so I will not be able to do that. 
Anyway, back to the this dialogue of Xanthor Vang. Alright, what else have we got? Negative experiences that are excruciating for su for the subject are a reliable marker in controlled studies. Advanced preparation makes it possible to enhance the emissions, skinning the subject while preserving the nerve endings, removing ligaments, or performing a specialized form of lobotomy. The page is torn, but the words, Get Slaves, can be read along its edge. Demonstrating fragments of awareness locked in an endless cycle of torture, this is the most valuable specimen for future application in the form of... The rest of the paragraph is painstakingly blacked out with ink. A message has been left in the margin. If this is Zan, and you're reading the textbook you filched from me, suck it, you little weasel. Without Xanfir the Plagued One's ritual, you're nothing. Get back to cleaning the latrines before the Plagued One chops you up to use in his experiments. Wait for the roguelike DLC for that custom companions. Our cheap custom companions are cheaper there. <laughs> All right. You think you can finish this game in a week? Oh, you, you sleep some shot. No, 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 no. I don't think I can finish this game in a week. I said like I would just switch off. Like, um, normally I'm doing I'm doing my main playthrough, but I could do like an alternate playthrough once in a week that has like. The viewers as custom characters. There's no way I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat an RPG where I actually want to go through all the content in a week. Yeah, no way. If I was speed running and skipping a lot of stuff, then yeah. Like if I killed off all the party members and just went full custom, like that's all the companion quests I don't have to worry about. Like there's ways to shorten the game. A complex device combining technology and magic. The leather straps used to restrain victims look worn from frequent use. Alright, well, I found Xanfir's lab, I guess. Alright, good. What'd you find? I'm trying to highlight it. What'd you find? The pressure plate? Couldn't be the door. Oh, here we go. Whatever this is. Is that it? <sighs> Maybe. I guess I have to do the obvious. Alright. Triceratops, step on this pressure plate. Ivu, step on this pressure plate. And oh, uh, Ninio, go press that button. You're the type that would. All right, should be fine. We found something already. Something right over here. There's more? Wait, there is? Um, okay. So, you over here. Ivu, stand on the pressure plate over here. Come on, Ivu. Thank you. All right. So, is, if there's anything more. You have the higher perception. You look around. Guess that's it for op to open this door. 
If there is anything more in here, I don't know where it is. Since none of these doors are closing. Ah, it's fine. These are basic demons. Look at how fast they drop. Yeah. Okay, that might be a problem. Smite evil. Alright, now it's no longer a problem. Look at this. Giant horde of demons. You can take them out pretty damn quick. There's more. You have to press. You have three buttons. Press them. No, no. I pressed all three buttons. I didn't press them in any particular order, but I pressed three buttons in here. Was something supposed to happen? If, the, if anything else was supposed to happen after pressing the buttons, I, I don't know what's supposed to. Huh? Oh, shit. Together we if I can. did press all three buttons. Well, the more you know. Thanks, Nero. God damn it. Alright, now. What's in here? Oh, a single chest. Don't fuck up. You know what? Wait. Save. <laughs> save. Yeah. There's an 80% chance of success if I use the lockpick save. I finished here. Is All right. More? We got a ring and a, and a lockpick to replace the one I just used. <laughs> the Ravager of Dread. Mm. What is this? This is... Is this the item that makes me go respect my character? <laughs> we have... This ring grants the wearer a plus four morale bonus against confusion and fear effects. If the wearer fails the saving throw against such an effect, after the effect ends, the wearer gets a plus two bonus on saving throws and... <laughs> Plus two bonus on damage rolls until the end of combat. Alright. So, this should go directly to whoever has a low saving throw anyway. Alright, Storyteller's Ring is a plus one bonus on all saving throws against fire-based effects. That's what I had equipped originally, so it's pretty easy to replace. Anyone I would give the storyteller's ring to? No. Always a benefit to have a loot goblin in chat, I guess. Indeed. Thank you. And again, thank you. So whatever. So if we do that thing where the viewer gets a character, you're gonna have to pick something with a high perception build. <laughs> Since you're the reason we're never, I'm never missing out on any loot. Although, Atrocius has helped me get a lot of loot too in, in Pathfinder Kingmaker. I know, I think everybody would have a high perception <laughs> at this rate. Except for me. What we got here? We got two iron golems that are technically not hostile. We know how long that's going to last. Let's see. You heal a Ruchelet. Well, 
that didn't do much. Ooh. Okay. Cast more healing on. Mm. Yeah, another pure critical wounds on her. Yes. Dragon eggs. Dragon eggs. Um, are they? Well, we'll, we'll find out. Onwards. If they belong to a chromatic dragon, we destroy them. Hi, right. Iron Golem. Stone lips appear on the golem's unmoving face, and it loudly says, Intruder detected. Hey dragon, where have you gone? You better fly back here and fight as Teacher Xanfair the play- Ow. The golem makes a noise, like it has just been smacked upside the head. As Teacher Xanfair the plagued one ordered, or else your eggs will be destroyed. In unison, the golems swing their fists above the eggs on the ground. Lord Nature. Take a closer look at the eggs. Thanks to Windowog, we have a plus 20. So I need an 8 or higher. Hey, I got it. These are wound worm eggs, and they look like th they will soon hatch. Perception in these games is your number one skill. And that Googles, <laughs> and that Googles in Dresden, you can buy in Act 3. Um, I I'm, imagine you mean goggles in Dresden. You can buy an Act 3 or My Way to Go. Plus 10 to Perception is the best. Yep. Yeah. Ranger Beer. Good Azada path. Wake the, wake the life slumbering in the eggs. I won't let you kill unborn dragons. Alright. The, e the eggs tremble, cracks appear, appearing on the shells, and tiny creatures that look like they're made of living fire burst out from within. <laughs> they dart away, making funny little chirping sounds. The golems bring their fists down on the now empty shells. <laughs> All assigned objectives have been completed. Plan deactivation. The golems slowly lower their hands and freeze like statues. Uh, hold on. Empty shells left by the baby dragons. Okay. Yeah, okay. You saved two baby dragons. Yep. Yeah. Alright, what we got here? Bones gnawed by huge teeth and clumps of meat ripped by sharp claws lie scattered on across the floor the remnants of a repast for for a large raging monster even if they're wound worms eh. maybe they'll be good someday maybe maybe this will not come back to bite me in the ass later maybe yeah, every yeah like that lich yeah, yeah, like the Lich. The Lich is going to come back and be like, My friend, thank you for your aid. <laughs> and create dragon zombies now. <sighs> well, I mean, if Camilla can turn out to be evil, I guess everybody can. <laughs> yeah, she bragged about herself. Ah, no. I, look, I tried so hard. To con I convinced, Bloody! I was so convinced she was good. God damn. I hate the fact that I defended such a psychopath so damn much. You promoted yourself well. You know, can can, can not... we drop this? It's, it's it's an old bit. You can stop. Bloody. Rubbing, stop rubbing it in. All right, what we got here? Not just some more junk. We can still be friends. And I can go outside for all. Why would I do that now? But okay. Hmm. 
secondary exit, I guess. Open this door, 35% chance of success or 60% chance of success. So we're gonna save and go here. Please forgive me. Ah. Well, she's part of the evil path, so. Hmm. I wonder what the other evil ones are gonna be. Who knows? Alright, let's see. Let's show. No one talks about that. Camilla's best girl. Always nice and so pretty. And she loves you to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's for yeah yeah okay. Yeah, I'm taking your heart. No away. no every everyone everyone get your kick get your yeah. kicks in like go for it. I was I, I've never been so wrong. <laughs> that so, so she has her she has your heart. That has and an, that has and honestly should haunt me for my entire career of playing <laughs> of playing on Twitch for the entire foreseeable future. I know I did. I was useful to you. Good on you. What do we have in here? Where'd my notes go? Paper muncher. You haven't seen them, have you? Come on, spit it out. My notebook's gone missing. I had it this morning, and all I found was the chewed up cover lying next to paper muncher's bedroll. I couldn't let the enemy get his ha get its hands on the orders of the great Xanfir the Plagued One. I acted like a hero back at the Tower of Estrad. Oh, I remember this guy. He almost choked to death <laughs> doing that. How can we hope to compete with that heroic feat, chewing a whole wad of documents? <laughs> As a reward, Xanfair the Plagued One is going to turn him into a bookworm that walks. Ew. Ha ha ha. Hey, who's there? Damn it, we haven't finished our research yet. I will defend my dream. Uh, what, what do we have to say? Yes, you can still be friends. You're part ferocious. And dangerous dragon, she's a psycho. You're made for each other. Yeah, rub it in. I am not sure what that guy is, but like the way he's going, I'm pretty sure he's got some kind of rage spell going on. As far as I can see, these guys are from the frame rate. I'm pretty sure they're getting killed. At least from the sound effects. Panagi, Pain Slayer. Let's see, the Dream Slayer, Vulture. Hey, some healing potions. I can use those. Yeah, plus one spear. Hooray. Alright, let's see. What else we got? Junk. Carefully arranged tools and materials for building magical objects. They have clearly not been sit sitting idle. And in here. Hey, barding. Full barding. And a fancy orc double axe. Hey, did they ever change barding of elder beasts? Did they ever change or add a patch so that you can use more than a spear on horseback? Or on mounted combat? Let's see. Fairy Tales of Avistan. Ah, I've seen that book already. Let's see. What do we got? 
Holy flaming plus three orc double axe. Technically, Ivu is dead, but I do say technically because she revives as soon as we get back in, into town. She can't even wear armor. Not like not like this Triceratops I summon. Never mind. It. There needs to be a skill. Okay. Hmm? You can use every item on horse. Oh. You always could use more than a spear on horseback. It just looks weird on anything but a spear. Oh. Okay. Just grab, just looting the rest of this place. What do we got here? Baphomet at the imprisoned. Oh shit, okay, huh. Uh we are all children of Baphomet. Read this and pass it on. It's all caps in that part. Alright. The story of our master is an example to his followers, a paragon of cunning and dauntless courage that all of us should strive to emulate. Set goals that are beyond your capabilities, so daring that once you succeed, your dying foes will be shaken and humiliated. Remember that Lord Baphomet was unafraid of challenging one who was not simply his equal, but a god. The accursed Asmodeus, whose staff our master wanted to steal for his beloved Lamashtu. Caught by the devil and betrayed by his beloved mistress, Baphomet was thrown into a maze so twisted and inconceivable <laughs> that, as the ruler of hell boasted, no one, not even the first of the Minotaurs, could hope to find their way out. But our master was not one to back down after a single defeat. With a pentagram branded on his forehead and a black heart burning with vengeance, ba I mean, this is some great fucking propaganda. <laughs> Well, if it's, it's his story. Baphomet disgraced Asmodeus not just by escaping the labyrinth, he lost but, his weight back to him. but by taking it with him as well. He doesn't, hey, <laughs> if you actually meant the Minotaur, if you huh. actually meant, you know, Baphomet, he doesn't look like the Minotaurs he created because of what he's already mm -hmm. endured. And to this day, the pentagram on the Lord of the Minotaurs remains as a mockery of the god whose pride was used to wipe beneath the bull's tail. <laughs> Take after Baphomet, risk everything, never break, and trample anyone attempting to trample you. Dang. Serve our master well, so that Baphomet's army grows in number, while our enemies grow weaker. Hail Baphomet with deeds d insidious and covert. Hail him, hail him, hail him forevermore. The circle of loyal Templars. I agree, that story about Goat Boy getting free from prison is damn cool. And he took it. You know what? I'll take it. You learn something new from this book. Actually, huh, that is something that this game's done. If you get certain books, you gain abilities. Let's see. Only with your character. Let's see. The Tome Minotaur. Plus one to attack and damage with any glaive I use. Alright. Temples of Iomade. Plus one shield bonus to AC against demons. Zacharias toward eternity. Plus one competence bonus to DC on spell with death descriptor. Let's see. Xanfer Fang. Plus one caster level on spells from enchantment school. I right, here it is Baphomet the Imprisoned. Plus one competence bonus on combat maneuver defense and bonuses. That bull rush is looking more more viable every day. So far, if, if I tried to be a necromancer or a glaive fighter, I'd be better off. 
enigmatic labyrinth minotaur. Guess the spell. I'm going to save just because I don't want to fight that thing again. All right, let's move. And there's a trap. I sent something. And another trap. Hold on. Should I go up this way? For yeah, I'll just keep going this way. Um. Please, allow me. I notice you're not using your fiber muscles anymore. No, I switched to the... Everyone is mortal in this world, especially when I'm around. I switched to using the Finny and the talking weapon. The two main enemies, like, I was just flat out missing. And it got, and it got annoying to me. The struggles never cease. Trusting you. Kill them, I'll just say you're there. Alright, let's see here. Disarm this trap. Please forgive me. Try again. I've myself. Okay, what do I need in order to get this? Not in that one. I need to roll two or higher. So she rolled in that one twice. You kidding me? I finished here. Is there more? Hmm? Read me off. That's what? Let's see. Paper Muncher's still waiting for you to talk to him. Huh? He's still in there? I literally looted the whole freaking room. Where is he? Let's see. Oh, he's sitting there in the corner. Whoops! I literally grabbed everything in this stupid room and didn't even notice him. Alright, Tomer. Let's see. One of the cultists. A half-elf whose face has gone white with fear seems familiar to you. In an anguished and yet apologetic voice, he says, I suppose you won't believe me if I tell you I was just passing by. Why do all these troubles befall to poor Telmer? I mean, I was just going to walk by you, man. You saved Xanfair the Plagued One scribe in the Tower of Estrad. All right. Maybe you could let me go, and I will tell you what we were doing here. I have no desire to risk my life a second time to conceal Xanfir's secrets. Have we met before? What are you doing here? It seems the life of a cultist has been working out hard. What are you doing here? The cultist waves his hand, looking resigned. Xanthir the Plagued One ordered us to develop a new type of infectious disease. One that would strike down not only ordinary crusaders, but paladins as well. As you know, paladins are protected from all sorts of afflictions by the blessing of their patron deities. But that just makes the challenge even more interesting. We set to work at our cauldrons and started creating the most horrific toxins. Success was in reach, or was within reach. But then someone mixed up our cauldrons with, with the ones used for cooking. The other cultists tried to, the food with our unusual seasoning. And, well, we soon learned that the ivory sanctum is lacking in its lat latrine provision. 
<laughs> Master Xanthir flew into a rage and ordered us, those still alive, of course, to continue our experiments further away from the kitchen. The half-elf sighs at the injustice of it all. <laughs> that's... That's such a sad story. Ninio brushes away a tear. <laughs> First, your mentor orders you to conduct an experiment, and before it's completed, he chases you away so that you cannot finish it? That's just terribly unfair. It seems the life of a cultist hasn't been working out for you. The half-elf nods sadly. You can say that again. When I was accepted into the cultist, I, I was promised power, might, and forbidden knowledge. And look where it got me. Forced to look after some stinking infectious cauldrons. My hands are all covered with blisters now. And I'm still getting grief over eating the, those damn letters. Still picking bits out from between my teeth, too. They call me Paper Muncher. When all I did was faithfully serve the great Xanfir the Plagued One. Paying no heed to the danger to myself, I tried to hide from the enemy. Meaning you. <laughs> the secret correspondence of the Master. <laughs> of course Ninja would say that. <laughs> All right, and now I can make a choice. Lawful attack. You may be pathetic, but you still abetted the demons and you will be punished. Hmm. No alignment. I'm not here to offer you counsel. Evil, point at, the, point at the cauldron. If you eat what Xanfer entrusted to you, then I will let you go again. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotic, go wherever you will and begin a new life. And good, renounce the demons and try to live a righteous life. Yeah, let's go with that, sure. With a mistrustful look at you, the half-elf says, Perhaps that's not a bad idea. I could turn to the good the deities, become a follower of them. Maybe their priests won't make fun of me. They won't have heard about the time I tried to eat those letters. It's decided. Thank you for your advice and farewell. And off he goes. Mm -hmm. Behold, the new paladin of the order. He'll, sa he'll save the crusaders and win the war one day. And now it's the future <laughs> whenever, whenever a paladin oath is sworn, a succubus is born. <laughs> <laughs> I live! <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> and you get absolutely nothing from that. Yeah. No, no. I got something. I got the knowledge of knowing I helped somebody turn from the, the evil. Okay, what's can you still grab the No, the cauldron never lit up. I can double check just just to make sure and like hit tab, but like nothing pops up. Okay. And this this hall's like filled with traps, so I'm gonna go this way that has no, that only had one. Oh, there's, there's nothing else here. There was just the one trap. Okay, never mind. There's two traps. This one and this one. I finished here. Is there more? Uh, the trap still says it's there. Sure, whatever. It lied to me. All right, what do we got here? I summoned an eternal guardian. Surrender hmm. or else. There's a trap within a trap. Run away. No! My dinosaur! No, Lois, what are you doing? Oh, he's feared! He's gonna run through all the traps! Blade barrier. Uh, let's see. 
Alright, there I guess. Killed Sila. Man, this trap really screwed us over. Now everybody's trying to run away in fear. So obviously I'm going to load. I'm just trying to see just how badly this Guardian's screw going to screw us all over. Feared everyone. Fears everyone into running into the blade barrier. Takes attacks of opportunity. Ooh, uh, really good set. I don't need to wait to look. Like, it killed us all. Alright, so. Wow. Didn't Lewis just get gear that was supposed to prevent that? Yup! <laughs> and it didn't help. Whatever the DC is, it's just too high. You gotta get a chuckle. That's worth something now. Yeah. Oh, man. I think I could actually beat him. I just have, like, let me d double check to see if Sila has that that one level two spell. She can give everybody the same immunity to fear that she has. It's just, no it's not pass. permanent. It doesn't last forever. Yeah, she's got it. All right. So I can just do this fight again except this time give everybody the aura of greater courage Keep trying. I've embarrassed myself. Keep trying. Please forgive me. Okay, what is the DC here? I'm glad 25. It's useful to you. That's it's 32. Mm. She's got a 26 bonus here, so it's like Whoa. God damn. Alright, let's see. Let's try to find where that trigger for that spell. Okay, it's way down here. Way past all the others. So we're going to try to disarm all of these before I go any further. I'm prepared. I am not. You will. Alright, let's see here. So. Disarm this here. trap. Is there more? Yeah, disarm the other trap. I finished here. All right, now we're gonna save. And we're gonna do this again. Protection from fear also helps. Maybe Ember got one or Ivu. Protection from fear. Oh, you mean remove fear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Pretty sure Ivu has it. Oh, right, she's dead. <laughs> Fuck. She revives as soon as you get back to Dresden, so I don't carry like a huge bit of concern over this. Although the biggest issue is that she is the one with the ability to... Oh, I guess I can take it from her. Alright, take this scroll of resurrection. Cool uh, razor. Yeah, I'm going to take it off of her. Give it to Ninio. And have Ninio cast it on Ivu. You are my favorite aid. And we'll just say cast resurrection on Ivu. Yes. There. She's back with the land of the living. Alright. Ivu does indeed have removed fear. One resk brings Ivu back. Really? Well, shit, let me look. <laughs> I mean, if I don't have to waste a resurrection scroll, I'm not going to. All pets respawn after resting.
Well, let's do it. I mean, I know they came, I know they came back if I go to Dresden, but I didn't think they that they were that easy to respawn. Camp, camp where enemies are nearby, so I can camp over here where the cauldron was. All right. Why is he moving so slow? All right, let's do this. One, two, three, four. I am going. Right. I think this. Oh, hell! The DC for the demo, the demon ritual is a freaking. DC 30. I can give them a plus 15 bonus and I'd still have to roll a 15 or higher to get this right. Well, that sucks, but oh well, let's let's give it a shot. See, here's an interesting fact. The second arms of Labrezes grow where nipples grow on humans. Could human nipples evolve into an extra pair of limbs over time? Uh, probably not. Sorry, I'm not drunk enough for this conversation. <laughs> Let's see here. We obviously failed the the whole ritual for against the corruption thing but thankfully we're not suffering a level from it yet all right Ivu you back Ivu is back yep all right Grant let's give this let's give this another shot I'm gonna try to fight that Fight that one, is it called? The Eternal Guardian Minotaur. I'm always open to ideas. Cast that. We will win this war. Just in case. Uh, let's see, cast that. You require my unbiased opinion? Cast haste. We should be good. Did you know that F5 quick saves? I, yeah, um, there's this running gag about quick saves if you get into the habit of using them all the damn time. Wind up saving over or something. Alright, let's see here. While it's still trying to get out of the wall, start casting spells at it. Oh, right. It's not alive. There's no way Phantasmal Killer can work on a ghost. The hell am I doing? Magic Missile. Uh, they can't target. You can target it with spells, but not attacks. Sure, game. The mortals will be an offering at the hues of Lord Baphomet. No, we won't. Why am I so weak? Windog, why are you in melee?
beg me to stop. Maybe because she's hungry. Let's hear you cross. This thing is using cleave. Oh, you're not using that? I'm not using a cleave belt, no. Alright, it's down. Right. Oh, that was a fun little fight. Trust in yourself. Heal up Windwog. Wait, how does this belt work? You can cover yourself in an invisible corrupted fire under its effects. You become immune to fire damage, but gain weakness to the cold and holy damage. All fire spells deal an additional 2d6 unholy damage. Why am I not using this? Maybe I, oh, wait, no, I'm pretty sure I read the effect before. Maybe I thought it was a passive that was just always on. All right, let's go. Wait, no, what time is it? No, oh, wait, we're, no, we're, we're past that time where we usually stop. All right, so we're gonna, we're actually gonna call it through here. So for everybody who stopped by, thank you. Yeah, it was great to see you again. There, stop before I get into another fight. All right, we're gonna try that. I will be back on tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow morning with Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm going through the final castle where Nyrissa is in. Uh, aside from that, I will be on. We'll be back with Wrath of the Righteous probably next Tuesday. All right. So it's going to be a lot more of uh, just Pathfinder Kingmaker. Unless I beat it. Um, all right. So thanks again, everybody who stopped by. See you tomorrow if you can. And until then, take care.